all and welcome back to Dynamic Touch. I'm here to announce a dawn of the new era, an ending of a reign that has been going on for years. And what exactly am I talking about? I'm talking about how the reign of the wig is coming to an end, or at least it's ending until something new and trendier comes about. Okay, 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 maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. It's more like a temporary hiatus. Still, this is the beginning of a major shift in the trend surrounding black hair care. Let's start by breaking down this topic into key points. The first point I would like to talk about is what caused the end of the wig era, what hairstyles are replacing wigs, and how can you and your hair benefit from the change or the shift in this trend? So first of all, by wigs, what do I mean specifically? I mean mostly full lace front wigs, frontal wigs, or any variation of this type of lace wig with no hair left out. But in some cases, black women are opting to get rid of all types of wigs entirely. So what caused this major shift in black women's hair culture? Pre-pandemic versus post-pandemic. 2019 marked an important year in the shift of the culture. We began the year seeing trends of black women going back to relaxers. Also, more black women began to seek out non-toxic straight hair options. Now, there's always been a portion of the black women population who chose to wear their hair straight, whether that's through heat or through chemicals. But 2019 marked a time in which interest began to increase in large amounts. Then the pandemic happened. The majority of women were cut off from all their normal hair resources and hair routines. A lot of women were faced with doing their own hair for the first time in a long time. Some women did not want to do all the complicated hair steps they needed to do in order to maintain the styles that they had pre-pandemic. They wanted something simpler and faster, mostly due to the fact that the world was mostly at home. Because of the pandemic, there was also a lot of shortages of supplies. Many materials like lace became harder to acquire. When materials are harder to find, it drives up costs. So not only did these materials become scarce, but more expensive as well. Even with the world changing, this sparked a new flame of creativity and a lot of black women began to post videos online and on YouTube of them creating cheap headband wigs. The vulture companies saw this and mass produced the headband wigs. Headband wigs became so popular that the good hair companies began to design their own form of headband wigs. Headband wigs are still flying off the shelves even today. The next reason why I would like to discuss why the wig era is coming to an end is rampant ingenuity fatigue. Black women are tired of feeling as though they have to keep up with the newest hair trends especially since most black women have to learn to do these hair trends themselves. And if they don't learn, they have to pay a hairstylist upwards of 300 US dollars to do it for them. I'm gonna be the one to say it. I'm tired. I can't keep up with the HD lace, the transparent lace, the gl glue it down with ghost bond and blow dry. I can't do that, babe. I'm going back to sew-ins. I'm gonna see y'all later. That is not including the price of the hair or the unit itself. Lace front wigs are very high maintenance. That's why in the past, they were only used during special occasions for the everyday woman. This type of rampant hair ingenuity has led a large portion of black women to want to regress to simpler times and simple forms of hair maintenance. If you think about it, it's just like the iPhone. For years, people have been chasing the newest iPhone, dying to buy the latest version as soon as it comes out. But then the pandemic hit and people began to reassess their way of living. This caused the latest version of the iPhone to have slower sales than normal. I'm gonna be the one to say it. I'm tired. I can't keep up with the HD lace, the transparent lace, the gl glue it down with ghost bond and blow dry. I can't do that, babe. I'm going back to sew-ins. I'm, I'm gonna be the one to say it. I'm tired. I can't keep up with the HD lace, the transparent lace, the gl glue it down with ghost bond and blow dry. I can't do that, babe. I'm going back to sew-ins. I'm going to see y'all later. The everyday person is not a celebrity. They do not need to keep up with the latest hair trends unless they're part of the industry or maybe it's a passion or a hobby. Most people need a routine that fits into their individual lifestyles. This also caused 
the ending of Wake Ingenuity. As you guys know on this channel, I am constantly talking about the stealing of black women's ideas in the natural hair or just black women hair space in itself. And so I just wanna to touch on this. A lot of these hair techniques and wig techniques pushed to black women in the hair marketplace are trends that trickle upward. There are ideas stolen from black women and some black men, mass produced and resold to us in different packaging. This stealing of creativity is causing creative fatigue and despair due to the fact that most hair YouTubers do not make money off their videos. Without money, people cannot afford to live. Thus, this is causing them to have to seek out other opportunities in order to make a living and leaving the creative space like YouTube altogether. So what hairstyles are replacing wigs? From what I can tell, some black women are going back to what is familiar to them. So they're going to do things that were popular prior to the lace front wig era. That would include U-par wigs or V-par wigs or T-par wigs, which are just variations of the U-part wig and the thin part wig. Ultimately, they're all stolen techniques that were built right here upon the foundation of YouTube and shared from other black women to other black women to have better ideas surrounding hair care. They're stolen, repackaged, renamed, and mass produced just to be sold right back to black women. They're going back to sew-ins, which I would be careful with I feel like sew-ins that allow your hair to grow and do not cause like balding or have a lot of tension is a dying art form in itself. But that's a story for another time. They're going back to clip-ins, quick weaves, relaxers, heat trained naturals. Women are still wearing headband wigs and they have included half wigs in that as well. So these are the styles I see a lot of black women going back to. But some black women are experimenting with new techniques that are variations of sew-ins, like tape-in extensions. I think I'm just over it. Or could it be that I'm aggravated? Why you be acting like you was the man? I'm not a fan. What do you not understand? Beaded wefts. There's also a new variation of heat training that utilizes the tape in extensions and women are heat training while having in tape in extensions. And I've been seeing this all over TikTok, all over social media. And to be honest, I'm here for it. Just make sure you do it safely. And that's all I ask. I think it's all overrated. What could it be that I'm jaded? I there are also a couple of women experimenting with variations of the traditional chemicals. So that's when you see the Gina curl, right? And you see the Japanese straight perm. Sweating, which is why my hair is kind of wavy back here. Um, it's not too, too noticeable, but I notice it. But considering how much I've sweated, like sweated, tossed, turned, did not have on my bonnet. That's my bonnet right there. Did not have that on. It was just me and my satin pillowcase tossing and turning and sweating all night. By the way, I live in Hawaii. There is no central air in my apartment. It is just a fan and a windows and I shut the windows at night because I can hear the expressway. So yeah, my hair being this straight, after all of that, is not only a testament to how good this touch up was this time, but also to how amazing my stylist was on Wednesday. I just want to talk about another form of hair care that doesn't really fit into the heat training bubble 
and doesn't really fit into the traditional, like a variation of the traditional chemicals. And that is the keratin treatment. So we see women with tighter textures, which I mean for textured hair, going to get keratin treatments. Back with another keratin, this time on Afro hair. And this lady's got typical 4C hair. Um, it's very tight, very coily, extremely, extremely dry. Um, and she likes to wear her hair natural, so she doesn't like relaxers or anything on it. So this is the perfect thing for her. Always section the hair, always, always, always. Um, and as you can see already, that the treatment has dragged it down and, you know, it, it took quite a long time to get through it and get the treatment all on it. But it was so worth it. Look at that end result. Now, she's going to keep coming every four months and I will update you on it because her hair is just going to grow in length and thickness and it's going to be amazing. Hi guys, back with another keratin transformation video, this time on 4C Afro hair. Look at this lady's hair. It was a little dry. She also needed um, a good cut. It just was lacking a bit of moisture and she's going on her natural hair journey. So she just wanted to try the treatment after seeing us and doing lots and lots of research about our product and she decided to come and get it done. She traveled all the way from Leicester today uh, which was about a two and a half hour train journey and the whole process from start to finish took four and a half hours. Like I said, we decided to go live instead of film the whole process because it was a long one. So we went live instead. Did anyone see us today? Look at this. Is it even the same hair? Like, it looks absolutely incredible. And shrinkage. Shrinkage is real, guys. Her hair was so moisturised, so silky, swishy, shiny, healthy, and that is the main thing. If you like the transformation, like and follow for more, and also follow us on Instagram. Like every trend surrounding black people, it starts with a grassroots movement and then it leaks into the mainstream culture. Most hair trends surrounding black women are trickle up trends. So we even see celebrities are beginning to ditch the lace wigs. What is going on, okay? The other day, a celebrity by the name of Ari was showing off her tape and extensions and showing off her hair. So maybe is she becoming like a heat train natural, a variation of it that I had discussed earlier? And she was showing it off and she's like, oh my gosh, I love my natural hair. And she's like, oh my goodness, I love having tape and extensions. But then also the internet dragged her because they said, is it your real hair? I don't think like, that's the main point of the topic. I think she was just saying that she was enjoying not having a lace front wig on. Let me know down below, do you think she was right for that or do you think she was wrong for that? Do you think if you have tape and extensions, you can claim that that's all your hair? Or do you feel like you need to be honest and say, hey, I have some pieces, I have some added extensions. Let me know down below if it, what you think about that controversy. And now the Shade Room recently shared a video showcasing her natural hair on the Shade Room and saying how she's never going back to frontals. And that might change depending on how popular she gets in the media, like if she becomes mainstream, she might need a frontal so that her hair doesn't take all that beating. But yeah, it's crazy. So many women are coming out and throwing away their frontals. Is this the future? And how the hair trends are going to change in the next two years? Everyone's getting rid of frontals? So the last point I would like to talk about is how can you and your hair benefit from the changes that we see in the hair trends surrounding black women? So first I would like to say, find a style that fits your personal lifestyle. Just because it's popular or someone else is wearing it doesn't mean that it's a good fit for your lifestyle. So find something that fits you and what you envision your hair care routine would look like. This goes for extensions as well. So if you see women wearing tape and extensions, ask yourself, does that fit your budget? Is this maintainable? How many breaks will I need between each set of extensions? So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. We are so close. It's crazy how close we are to a thousand subscribers. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so we can activate that giveaway. Also tomorrow we have breaking news concerning the giveaway and some changes that need to be made. 
So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys later. Please like, comment, and subscribe and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye. But you've been fired, boo, so get away from me, cause